Six years ago today, the first ever Wheel of Mutt dropped. I gotta admit, we've come a very long way, but six years of Wheel of Mutt is hundreds of episodes. Throughout the years, we have made some incredible memories and played with some incredible players. And what I've assembled today is the Wheel of Mutt Dream Team. This is basically the all-star game for Wheel of Mutt. Keep in mind, there are some players that just simply aren't in Madden 24, so I tried my absolute absolute best. Let me walk you through the Wheel of Mutt Dream Team. Starting with the most important position, quarterback. I've got 84 core elite Jalen Hurts. Some of you may remember the gold. 74 overall Jalen Hurts, who threw laser beam dots like he was 99 overall Tom Brady. He was the best, most unbelievable quarterback. I To this day, I swear it was a glitch or a bug in the system. He never should have been that good. We have had lots of amazing quarterbacks, but I think gold Jalen Jalen Hurts takes the cake. So to emulate that, I wanted to get the lowest overall Jalen Hurts. He's now an 84. As a backup quarterback, I did pick up Michael Vick. Throughout the years, we've used so many iterations of Michael Vick. I thought it made sense to have him. Another good option was Lamar Jackson, my Madden 20 Wheel of Mutt golden ticket prestige. But I'm just going to use Jalen Hurts anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Moving on to halfback, we have three amazing and nostalgic options. That's 95 Barry Sanders, 93 Dre Archer, and 90 Marshawn Lynch. Barry Sanders was an obvious one. This is my favorite player of all time. I dominated with his Easter card in Madden 20. I dominated with his NFL Top 100 card in Madden 20. He gets a 99 almost every year, and I always try to use him. Dre Archer actually has been our dominant force in Madden 24, Wheel of Mutt. He's also a throwback to Madden Mobile 16. Dre Archer is a legend. And how many of you remember the AKA Beast Mode? The first year that Madden came out with the AKA promo, they dropped a Beast Mode. He had Freight Train activated and he was so unfair. I had so much fun with Marshawn. I tell you what though, I've had so many good options at fullback over the years. There's Corey Schleschen Go, who's not in Madden 24. There's Larry Zonklers, who's not in Madden 24. But luckily, and honestly, I think the most iconic is the Nigerian Nightmare, Christian Okoye. Christian Okoye was the first time I ever learned about Vanguard. Vanguard is the ability that Gronk has. It lets you flatten people on blocks. It's so iconic because it's not meta. It's just not a good ability. People don't really use Vanguard in competitive play. So to find a fun way to shit on sweaters off meta is like my favorite thing in video games. Wide receivers, the hands down most iconic wide receiver in Wheel of Mutt history is Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill has been on so many different Wheel of Mutt teams. He was one of my first ever insane prestige players. And back in Madden 20, there was an ability called Streak Specialist, which made you way better at running streak routes. It was built for Tyreek Hill. You just gave him Streak Specialist, you put him on a streak, about a coin flip, you're just gonna get a touchdown. It was, it was messed up. I think Tyreek Hill is one of those players that may have made an appearance every single Wheel of Mutt season. There are very few players that I can say have truly been on every season, and I think he's one of them. So we had to have Tyreek Hill on this. DK Metcalf, this was a prestige a couple years back. His prestige wasn't that that great up until he got a golden ticket. And once he got a golden ticket, he got even crazier. DK Metcalf's always an insane wide receiver. We also threw in Randy Moss. I've used so many iterations of Randy Moss. We threw in Megatron. I prestiged him one year and I had the option between wide receiver Megatron and corner Megatron. And then Justin Jefferson was a prestige once upon a time as well. So if there's honestly so many wide receiver options, this was one of the most difficult uh, for me to decide. I have had some amazing tight end prestiges over the year and Darren Waller for like two straight years was an awesome force on our team. But one of the best prestiges I've ever made came in Madden 24, and that was the Rob Gronkowski prestige. I prestiged him because he got Vanguard, like a Koye. Then he proceeded to get a middle linebacker card with Free Lurk Artist, and then he proceeded to get a Cover Athletes Limited, and who knows, he might even get another card. So this truly is one of the best prestiges I've ever made. You'd think a Wheel of My Dream Team would be complete without the fucking GOAT, man. Without the GOAT? I'll never forget when Will Clapp DM me on Instagram and we played a game of Madden. He gets in the Xbox chat, and the first thing he says to me, he goes, bro, I log into Instagram one day and I'm getting all these DMs and these kids are like, yo, Will Clap, please don't fuck my mom. Please don't fuck my girlfriend. <laughs> Dude, just one of the coolest guys. Quentin Nelson and Bruce Matthews, both some big offensive line prestiges over the years. Same with Anthony Munoz. I usually make fun of myself for not prestiging O-line, but as I look at this O-line, these are all players I've prestiged in the past. Other than Will Clap, I never prestiged Will Clap. But yeah, Jason Kelsey, there was a, dude, Jason Kelsey was such a good prestige that year. He went on to go to 
the Super Bowl. So he got Team of the Year, then he got Super Bowl Limited, and then he got a 99 after that. I don't remember what 99 he got after that, but that was a great year. Moving on to defense. Let's start with Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor was an amazing prestige. The year I prestige Sean Taylor, he also got a right outside linebacker card. So I had a choice between the free safety and the outside linebacker. Not to mention, Sean Taylor is one of those guys, along with Lawrence Taylor, both the Taylors, who have probably made an appearance on almost every Wheel of Mutt team. Lawrence Taylor is just always getting dominant cards. He's had an impact on Madden 24, 23, 22, 21, and 20. Had to have him on this team. Another guy that's been on a ton of teams and was an amazing prestige this season and continues to be is Ray Lewis, Free Lurk Artist, Monster Hits. Yeah, some of these legends, man, especially on defense. One of my first ever prestiges was Devin White. This is the season right after they won the Super Bowl. I wanted a really good user, and Devin White ended up being a great prestige that season. And here on this squad, he's 94 speed with Free Lurk Artist. So excited to have him. This was an OG. This was from the very first season of Wheel of Mutt. Before Wheel of Mutt was Wheel of Mutt, and all, there were no rules and shit didn't make any sense. Foyasad Aluakan. And at the time, he was actually listed as an outside linebacker, and he was a gold player, and he balled out. He was so good. If you actually legitimately remember me playing with Foyasad Aluakan, you've been around for a long time. And I appreciate you. Troy Palomalu at strong safety. He was a really fun prestige that year. Also grab Brian Dawkins. I've used so many iterations of him. Night Train Lane is in every Madden. He's always good. I've had him so many times. Another prestige from the first season ever was Mel Blunt. Mel Blunt's just the super physical corner. 6'3", 97 speed. He's probably got like 90 hit power, at least. He's such a fun card to use. Champ Bailey, Jalen Ramsey, Deion Sanders, other classic prestiges at corner. Vita Vea. You guys remember the Vita Vea prestige? Prestige. I remember when he got the 98 overall limited edition. It's where the limiteds were all rainbow colored. He got a 98 overall when I had him prestige and he was so good. William Perry, the fridge. I've either had the fullback or the quarterback or the T tackle so many times. Aaron Donald, an amazing prestige. And Montez Sweat. Montez Sweat is just like a Madden legend, bro. He, he's been on a lot of Wheel of Mutt teams, but he's so fast. He's always been so good in Madden. So I gotta have Montez Sweat too. I believe I prestiged him when he had a really fast blitz card. Some backups and some classics. Patrick Willis. Luke Keekly, Khalil Mack. And on special teams, Jamie Gillen, aka the Scottish Hammer. Justin Tucker and Harrison Bucker have both been on multiple Wheel of Mutt teams. It was hard to decide between these two, but I've definitely used more Justin Tuckers. That is the Wheel of Mutt dream team, boys. I gotta say, gentlemen, it's been an honor over all these years to be able to continue to do what I love. That wouldn't be possible without any of you. So I appreciate all you so much for watching this video. This has been a fun trip down memory lane, but the real fun starts when we get to go play with this team. Now, there is a fun game mode right now called Tug of War. The reason I want to play this is because you get unlimited X-Factors the entire time. So, oh, I think there's no better way than to relive our Wheel of Mutt dreams than with X-Factors lit up the entire time. We'll start out on defense. Let's see what we got, boys. Ray Lewis, Devin White, Foyasana Luakan. I'm going to use her Palomalu here. He's got absolutely nothing who got home. Montez Sweat. I think the very first play should be a handoff to Barry Sanders. He does have Freight Train activated, so I should break the first tackle. They were all over that. Let's go on the boy Foyasad. He's gonna go with an RPO. He's gonna get rocked by Mel Blunt. Just send Megatron to the end zone. I mean, he's got double me and he's huge. Go for it, Megatron. No, dude, that guy is tiny. You hate stopping him. You hate stopping him. He's got like a 5-6 corner on him. I don't think he has anything here. Oof. Mel Blunt has already made some insane impact here. I want to spread the wealth, though. I don't want to just force feed Megatron. Although I kind of still do. Can I do it one more time, guys? Can I do Megatron one more time? Just kidding. I can't. He's not even there. DK Metcalf, little juke. You saw that Vanguard flatten from Gronk, didn't you? This is why you run Vanguard, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think he has anything open. He doesn't have anything open. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He just made a move on me. But Night Train Lane with the knockout. Luckily, I have deep out zone KO on Night Train Lane, so I'm safe. That is a very good ball. I'm just going to go to Barry. Nice catch, Barry. This is a hell of a battle right here. We got 12 yards. We're barely across the 50 here. I can't let him score a touchdown. He scores a touchdown. I'm in so much trouble. Oh, shit. Hey, great defense. Montez Sweat, another sack. I'm going to block Gronk. Let's look at Megatron, right? He's got double me. Oh, what? I've never seen that. Dude, after making that Megatron catch, I absolutely have to win this game. 
He doesn't even get a throw off. Aaron Donald almost just ended it. I'm going Megatron. Fuck it. Ooh, nice catch. It doesn't matter if you throw an interception unless they return it past where you threw it from. He's going for the playmaker, but we got on him. Dude, I need to punch this damn ball in the end zone. Let's use Barry Sanders. You think Barry can punch this in? Go with the weak side stretch. Juke it back inside. I'll take a yard, I guess. I guess that's a loss of a yard? What? How can I not get this in, dude? I got down here so easily. Megatron's got it. What are you doing? No! Jalen! You're not the gold Jalen Hurts, I remember. Wow. This is his last play. I just have to keep him on this side of the 50. Yes! Yes! For your son! Aluakon! He's gonna put this game away! Damn, I needed that help too, bro. I was like, I had like four plays from the goal line. I couldn't score. It's looking like the Denver Broncos. This is a full Super Bowl lineup. Damn, this is a squad. Get there, Blunt! Ooh, nice breakup, though. Really good break. Dude, that Mel Blunt is insanely good. I'm trying to get him on my Madden 24 wheel up team. I didn't realize how good he was. That did not open. Hey! Dude, the Night Train Lane Mel Blunt duo is gnarly. Might as well, right? Fuck it, we ball. Shit, shit, just tackle him. Oh, please. That's not a fuck it, we ball moment. I just, wait, who is that? Donald Parham on defense? Wait, what? I gotta go do some research. When the fuck did that come out? Am I casual? Obviously. Oh, shit. There is a Madden competitive series, non-auctionable, 95 overall, Super Bowl Donald Parham. What? All right, Jason, I'm coming off a loss, bro. So I'm going to have to do something horrible to you. Just remember that it's not your fault. All right, we're just going airmail to Megatron. This is what I call not rocket science. <gasps> Yo, he had it for a second and then it got punched out. Ooh, he goes with a little run play here. Big hit out of Troy Palomalu. Nice work. Maybe I'll run it too. Maybe we'll have a little run game off. Dude, let's see if we can win a tug of war with just Barry. I'm going to run it against this. Even though this is a little weird, I'm going to do it. I got two yards. I don't think he has anything. No, he definitely doesn't. Good defense. We're going to sub Jalen Hurts out for Michael Vick. Fuck it. Let's go. Oh, no. That was the wrong read. Remind me never to run read option ever again. Yo, we got to use the Nigerian Nightmare. Let's go right side stretch. Let's cook. Great block out of the Nigerian Nightmare. Juke out of Barry. Now we're talking. Seven yards. I'm going to do this. We just run plays. Let's go left side. Cut up the middle. Okay, I got two yards on that one. Ooh. Holy shit, what a ball he just threw. I think he lost yards. Yeah, he lost a yard doing that. You know what I want? I want an inside handoff. I want an inside zone with a double stack. Yes. Oh no, but Dree Archer's in. That's not Barry. Fuck it. Hey, Dree Archer's a goat too. Get to the second level. Okay, I'm across the 50. <laughs> My ball. Shit! All of my progress, all of my progress just got fucking yoink. All right, Michael Vick, I need you now, buddy. Oh. Oh. Oh, Michael Vick, a little lefty dot. Nice work. Sorry, I had to give up on the run game, boys. He he lined me up with a, with a double me. Mel Blount, we need a big hit out of you here, buddy. Boof. Damn it. DK Metcalf just torched his man off the line and he's still going. Let's go, DK. That's fine. Dude, I'm about to run a hatback slip screen. No! Jalen! Uh-oh, uh-oh. He has Metcalf. He has Metcalf. Okay, I actually prefer him throwing that. I have no idea how he caught that, though. I just put my helmet on the ball. This is That was his last play. This is my last play. It's all or nothing right here. We gotta go for 50. I'm going to the halfback. Dree! No! Dree! Oh my god, he had an opportunity at it. Dude, I don't know what happened on any of those plays. I'm so depressed. We gotta go get it back, boys. All right, we're playing a Giants fan. Oh my god, he has so many D-line abilities. That's horrifying. I'm just throwing it up to Mega Giants. about my best play. You looking for McCaffrey? See, what's he looking for? Looking for nothing. He goes down. Megatron, single coverage. It's just stupid. I was gonna say, he's gonna go deep corner out, but dude, Mel, Mel Blunt is so good. I have not seen Mel Blunt get cooked a single time. Yo, we gotta get Tyreek Hill involved. Although this is so open, I have to throw it. I'm sorry, that's like almost a touchdown, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Oh, we're so close. All right, Sean T, gotta step up. Oh, night train, night train, night train. You're sucking my dick, then you're licking my balls. Dot. Absolute dot to Gronkowski out of Jalen Hurts. You gotta love when it's poor accuracy, but the poor accuracy ball ends up being like the most perfect way it could have ever been thrown. He's got Michael Vick halfback. I like that. He has absolutely nothing. 
clamped by Palomalu. Can we please get Tyreek Hill involved? Like, please, Matthew. Hey! Right in the middle for 20. Nice work. Gotta give the ball to the GOAT. Nigeria! I lost a yard. Here we go. 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 Mount Blunt has never been snagged on. And it won't start today. Go, Barry. Good ball, Jalen. Oh, my God. And there's a DPI, I think. Yo, if I accept this, I get to play again. Yes! Oh, my God. Let's go. I haven't used Barry enough. Here we go. Dude, he is absolutely fucking dominating the run. Palomalu. You're my user today, Palomalu. He's got the deep corner out. Oh, night. Dude, I'm telling you. Mel Blunt never gets snagged on, but Night Train's getting dogged over there. He's like trying to bait me to throw Megatron. Why would you do that? All right, Jalen, you're fired. Holy shit, look at the abilities. It's so fucking bugged. Look at the abilities. I'm running the ball. Okay, I was wondering if he had inside stuff, which... Oh! Oh! I'm gonna come! Yup. Yup. Okay. Blocks. Blocks. Set up. Honestly, not bad. I'm on Vita Vea. This is a mistake. 23 is open. Don't you dare throw this. Vita Vea lurk! There's no shot that you just caught that. I've got 400 pounds of Samoan man in your face. Oh, shit. I do not have this guarded. Damn, he got far on that. I'm fine with that. We're picking up 11 yards every time. We'll maintain this lead. He's going to run the exact same thing. Yup! Not on Mel Blunt, baby! Lit has anyone caught a ball on Mel Blunt today? I think I can go Megatron here and just kind of ice this game. Well, let's not predetermine. Oh, Gronk! Gronk! That is a comical drop. What are we talking about? This is the final play of the game right here. If he gets 10 yards, he wins. Play action. We just got a blitz. We just got a blitz. Get home! Let's go! Ray Lewis! All right, I'm going to switch up the lineup for the final game. Just a little bit. I'm going to start Michael Vick. Michael Vick as a escape artist, as an ability. I wonder, like, should I even be employing strategy at all to this? Or should I literally just take all nine plays and just keep chucking balls to Megatron? Like, is this the best play every time? Uh... You know, Julius Pepper's free safety is, is like, kind of the ultimate counter to this, huh? Michael Vick, Dre Archer, read option. Welcome to Madden, baby. Oh, I got to hand it. No, I... Okay. Okay, I handed that off to Dre Archer that time. I held A to hand that off. That's a sack. Hey, I've gotten zero positive yards and we're still winning right now. I'm on William Perry. Boom! Holy shit. Paolo Paolo sh should have got ejected for that. I don't know, boys. It's not looking good. We've got a hole to dig out of. Okay. Okay. Good start, Michael Vick. Okay. Thank you. And a, just a freebie. Oh, get the juke. Oh, night train. The dream lives on. Slowly but surely, we will march. No, we won't. No, Blunt! It's impossible to catch a fucking ball on that guy. All right, I'm going to try a little user playmaker action here. I'm going to send everybody deep, and then I'm just going to try and playmaker my boy Megatron up the field. It didn't really work, and the ball got knocked out. Damn, I was hoping for those positive yards. He's got nothing. He's got absolutely nothing. Let's go. Beautiful. Megatron in the open field. A big juke! <laughs> I'm up to the 45. What did he do on this last time? He threw an interception on this last time. This is what he did. Come on. Come on. Knockout! Let's go! Metcalf! Caught! Let's go! I'm across the 50. All right, so he has final play. I have one more play. He has two more plays. No, I'm on William Perry. I'm so fucked. Okay, I love this. I love this! Sean T! Yo, touchdown and it's ball game. Gronk. Oh no, Matt! I'm homeless. I'm homeless and gay. Palamalu. Oh! Breaks the tackle? Breaks another tackle? Palomalu! I think he's in cover too, man. I wonder if I can hit Barry. I definitely can't hit Barry, but I mean, like, that's... What are you doing, Megatron? I don't know if I've ever seen the wide receiver high-five the football before. That is a new animation for me. I'm just gonna go to Barry. Skirt! No, break it, Barry. Just fake vacate the middle, then fly back to it. Ooh! It's impossible. It's Mel Blanc, baby. Go, 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 go! This is the classic, you can't end on a loss, and then you just get stuck playing eight games. Dude, like, if he just airmails this to 80 and catches it, I'm gonna be so mad. Dude! 
dude. Get the fuck out of here. You know how many times I did that to Megatron just for him to fucking slap the ball to the earth? I actually like my odds here. That's crazy, dude. Big Dougie Williams. Let's see what he's got. He's got 81. But he doesn't because it's on Mel Blunt, and it is physically impossible to catch a football in the radius of Mel Blunt. Might be man. Oh my God, it is. Look at Gronk. Ooh, I might have had Metcalf too, though. Honestly, both of them got really good yards. He's got 81, except he doesn't because it's in the fucking vicinity of Mel Blunt. Is he really this good, or am I just having like astronomical luck with him? Fuck it, I'm going right at the user. Probably should have possession caught that. He has absolutely nothing open, and he's sacked by Montez Sweat. Montez has got home so many times, and he's going to quit. I'll finally get a win. All right, boys. Oh, my God. It took me so long to get a win. That's embarrassing. But hey, the wheel of my dream team. What a blast to go down memory lane and take a look at all these guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was so much fun to make, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.